What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs and today I am going to build these two guys. This is the Gundam Shield Dunda RXS 078 model kit. I have no idea where this came from but clearly it's not from Bandai. It's from something called Exotic Exotic Logic Transforming Mecha Combat Form 3 pl uh, 3 plus age Robot of the Super de Deformation Shield <laughs> Okay A Transforming Shield That's actually a pretty cool idea Nobody has thought of that well, Obviously we've seen Gundam Heads We've seen Gundam Figure You know like a SD kits, but a shield that transforms into a robot. Something different, something new, you know. Um, I've been meaning, when I saw this, this is ridiculous, this is stupid, and I want it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta blame Prime92 for this because she was the one that pointed it out to me and said, you know what, as dumb as this looks, I want it. I really do. Now, I mentioned this before, um, it uh, I, I got this at Gundam Central. It's it's eighteen dollars, but you get two. Unfortunately, you cannot pick just one or the other. You're getting both, regardless of regardless. The only thing is, though, it doesn't have a marking of telling you if you're getting the red or the yellow. So let's open it up and see what what we have here. Okay, there's nothing in the box. Alright, clearly we have the red version. And then we have the instructions. Oh, very detailed instructions. Wow. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Oh, man. So not only have all the parts here that's in red but you also come with screws and comes with its own mini screwdriver that's uh, very thoughtful of this company to make something like that let's uh... let's have some fun with this this is not like a standard plastic model kit that you can break apart and it it has some good feel to it, and the paint job is very well done. This is not like a... I mean, this is like you're building a toy. You're not building a model kit that you have to paint. This has already been done, you know, they've done it for you ahead of time. However, I am noticing something here. Um... Okay. You know what? I'm going to add something differently on the screen. Well, let's see what we can do here. Hold on. Okay, there's a scar mark here. Probably, probably during the uh, assembly phase. That's okay. Let's put this together. So that's done. And we have this. It goes. Okay, this is interesting. So, you have to slide that in here, but there's this peg that has to go in there. Wow, who thought of that? Let me see if I can do it without damaging it. Let me have to lift it up. There we go. There we go. Wow. That was tough. Let's go one of the screws, because that's what it shows here. By the way, this is not, even though I don't build knockoff kits, this is technically not a knockoff. This is basically 
a new kit for me. You're gonna have to like do a lot of. Oh my god! Oh my god, yeah. So the, the one thing about this, you don't have to worry about breaking because this is a strong plastic, but you gotta be very careful. guys can see this more than I'm doing because this is these are strong strong parts I mean I don't know where what plastic they're using for this but damn it is strong all right so we have that then we have that goes here snaps into place like so okay and then supposedly you have to bend it down like that now we just need the form Oh, there's another part here. It is. I mean, it's very considerate, the fact that they're, they're using a little guide here. Uh, you know, you have a tray guide type thing, so instead of putting it all in a little bag and then you have to sift through parts, it's, it's, it's coordinated. So you know what part you're selecting. That's actually really neat.
this one is being held by friction and pressure. So you gotta line it up and put it in there. I know I'm doing it wrong in one way or in one aspect or another, but that's okay. You can readjust it a bit. And there's some seam lines here that's very visible, but um, if you plan to customize it and paint it, it should be no problem. I'm um, assuming this is the left arm, so I'm going to put that here. Oh my god, this thing has open finger, oh, you know, open grip hands. Look at that. That's actually really neat. Actually, the section here, that one was for the left arm, this is for the right arm. And, you know, okay. Now the legs. there but I don't see it is it missing parts yeah there's like a little trim part that's missing there from this from this box okay we'll need this of course and this has it has has a part here so this one goes in here here, well, this one goes in here, and this one, uh, clearly the left leg, that goes there, and then this goes here. There we go. Alright, so that completes the leg. Now there's some other things here. We have two batons for weaponry. And then we have a little figure guy. Hey. So that completes this part. Now, let's see how do we assemble this. Um, okay, so apparently we slide that there. And we slide this like that there. Very snappy fit. Do we need to bring this up here because now we can see the head. There we go. There we go. And then this little guy goes here. Then this leg, of course. Let's do that again. Wait a minute, I think this is the other way around. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is pretty, pretty neat. Hold on. Now, the batons can go here, the backpack. Um, oops, the other way around like that. 
All right. And that is pretty cool. And then, of course, um, this is in mech shield mode. You could say, let's let's just, um, adjust the camera a bit. There you go. Here it is in mech shield mode. So, I guess that's what it looks like with it. And of course you have the, the batons. You can put it right there. And uh, That pretty much is what you can do to hold it up. Is this, um, don't know if you can actually hold up any other weaponry. But, yeah, that's pretty neat, like that. The feet can turn, but the legs, very limited, of course. There is no peg hole in the bottom, if you want to put it on an action-based stand. But, there's other ways of... Um, pretty stable. You know, you can adjust the feet to add some more stability. But let's see about this uh, transformation of the shield, as it says here. So I'm going to lift this up, take out the pilot, or maybe we can leave the pilot in there. Let's leave it there. Push him down. Lift the shield up. And let me see here. So i got to do this. Bring that here. Wait a minute. Alright, so... Turn it around. Turn it this way. And then bring it up like that. That seems very simple. There we go. And then the legs, just bring it up like that. And keep that little guy there. And there you go. There's the shield. Unfortunately, this is not something that you can probably put on a master grade or hold it up unless you can find some weird gimmicks to do. Your, the batons are pretty much out in the wind and there's no way to put this in a stand to display it or anything like that uh, maybe maybe put it next to another you know something give me a second I gotta find something to put it up against oh, okay if I had a Gundam out here I could do that but I can't but there you go Now I'm gonna I wanna see if this is the yellow one. Yes, this is the yellow one. And since it was miss since the red part was missing parts here, let me see if this one's missing it. Yeah, this one's missing the um, some parts too as well. Hold on. I'm gonna give this as a gift. I know somebody would would appreciate this. So, this kit comes with everything except for this little panel thing that covers up the uh, the gap that's inside the thigh armor, the thigh part of the of the kit. It has everything else. So, there you go. And I'm going to re-transform it back to the way it is because it looks better the, the other way around. That again. There we go. I mean, how many times are we going to be transforming it over to a shield? Unless you want to do some fun stuff with it, you know? It is tough to pull it out here. You gotta shimmy it a bit. 
Furthermore, also the V fin is very loose, so there's a possibility you may yank it. I don't know. Hopefully, you don't. And then I'm just going to put these guys back here again. So, what are my thoughts on this? It's cute. It's fun. It's not too expensive. It falls back down. It's going to come back up again. There we go. If you want to... Uh, the, the, it is a basic kit. You know? Very basic, very easy to build. Not that expensive, though. Considering the fact that you're paying for two. It's 18 If this, If you would have told me this was $18, I would have been a little nuts. But... You're getting two, so that's nine dollars each, and you're getting a you know whether it's the uh, the red or the yellow, it really doesn't matter. You're getting both of them regardless of the case. It is a fun kit, so you can buy one for yourself, and then, and give it as a gift to somebody to somebody else, especially children who are getting into the model build and want something cute. You know, pretty much uh, looks good. You know, you get you also get a nice little screwdriver for whatever screws that you have around. So that is my review of the Gunshield Dundra RXS078. It's at um, Gundam Central. I'll put a link on my channel so you guys can get it. It's fun. It's neat. It's a great gift for you and for anybody else. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching. And stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.